So it's been well over a year since Google launched their advanced data analytics certification, and I was just curious to know if it's still worth taking. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ranesh, and I'm currently a data scientist working at a tech startup. I actually made a video about a year ago sharing my experience taking the Google Data Analytics certification, and it seemed to provide a lot of value to a lot of people. So I generally hope I can share some value with this review. At a first glance, it looks like the course is broken down into seven different modules, and it's a very Python-focused course, but it does cover other tools too. They claim it will take six months to complete at a pace of 10 hours a week, but I'm very confident a lot of you guys will complete it much sooner. Coursera Plus currently costs about $59 a month plus tax at the time of this recording, so I would estimate the total cost for the certification to be about $180 if you complete it in three months. The first module is kind of an intro to data. It gives you a very high level introduction to how data works, what data science is, and stuff like that. They go into stuff like the PACE workflow, history of data science, and other introductory material. If you've already taken the initial data course or have any experience with data whatsoever, I think you should be fine speed running this course or just skipping it altogether. The second module is mainly an introduction to Python. This is where you'll get into the basics of Python. They start you off with getting to know Jupyter Notebooks, and then eventually they pivot into to more complex topics like object-oriented programming. They also have a ton of interactive lab sessions where they expose you to different data types, how to write conditional statements, functions, for loops, etc. Basically, their goal here is to get you familiar and comfortable with the syntax of Python before diving into data projects. After you're comfortable, they introduce you to libraries like NumPy so you can play and manipulate data sets with Python. The next module, which is module three, is more of an EDA module. It covers what I would consider a pretty essential data science concept that is called exploratory data analysis. They also kind of cover this in the initial certification, but I think they go into more depth with this one by including case studies like the Deloitte case study. I would say this is one of the more important modules to take because of the non-technical concepts that they share like data validation and cleaning, quality checks, and reasonable visualizations to use. Module four, in my opinion, is what sets the certification apart because of how much statistics they cover. Not only do they cover the basics, but they also go over a lot of detailed data science concepts too. If you've never heard of a p-value or don't know the difference between a one-tail and a two-tail test, I would strongly encourage you to take your time throughout this module. This will help lay the foundations for a lot of the data science work and ML models you'll be building in the future. Speaking of machine learning, modules five and six finally go into the basics of machine learning. A lot of us have already been exposed to machine learning through high school concepts like linear regression. If you're not too familiar with what linear regression is, think of a straight line equation you might have learned in high school like y equals to mx plus c or y equals to bx plus a. I think they go into a lot of detail when covering regression. They even went into optimization techniques like L1 and L2 regularization, which is pretty nice. On top of that, they go into more depth when covering hypothesis testing and go into ANOVAs and when to use them too. In module six, they give a brief introduction to machine learning, covering supervised and unsupervised learning, the ML life cycle, and also going into some tree-based models. They again give a high-level overview on how to use bagging and boosting techniques to optimize your models for specific problems. They end this certification with a capstone project, which I'm a big fan of, and some resources to optimize your resume and general career advice. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of this certification, one, because of the material they teach, two, because of how they teach that material, and three, because of all the practical applications they give you throughout. However, I do have some cons that I want to share. First off, for an advanced course, I expected a lot more depth when it came to machine learning, but it seems like it's more of an introduction to ML. I do kind of like how deep they went into statistics though. I also felt like they spent a lot of time on environment setups with not only Jupyter Notebooks, but also Python IDEs. I honestly just think that should have been a prerequisite to this course. And if you already took the initial certification, the first module of this course might not be necessary for you. All that being said, I think the certification is still worth it in 2024 for those of you who are interested in growing in the field of data and also getting an intro to machine learning and statistics. If I didn't go through a four-year degree program where I had to take six to eight different statistic classes, I know for a fact I would have benefited from modules four and five of this course a lot. To those of you who are deciding between taking a college level statistics or machine learning class and the certification, I do think the certification will give you a better bang for your buck. We pretty much covered the same material in modules six and seven of this course as compared to the college level class I took called Introduction to Machine Learning. And I know for a fact the certification would have saved me a lot more money and a lot more time. Now, I think it's very important to remind people that the purpose of taking certifications like this is to learn, not to land a job. I think a lot of people have the misconception that certifications like these are meant to help you land a job. And while that may be true for some people, for the majority, it is false. Maybe it'll help give you an edge over your peers, but hands-on experience is crucial to landing a job. My personal recommendation is to use the skills you've learned from these certifications to work on cool and interesting projects that you can then leverage to gain more hands-on experience. This course should realistically position you well to dive deeper into machine learning and maybe even deploy your first machine learning model. I personally recommend taking the Andrew Ng machine learning specialization after taking this course if you're interested in diving deeper into ML. I made a separate video reviewing that certification, so if you're curious, I'll leave it linked down below. For those of you who have taken the certification, I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback down below too. If you enjoyed this video, do consider leaving a like. It will help the channel out a lot. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.